So you found some vacant land that you like and you're thinking about building. We've talked about access and entrances and conservation authority regulations. There's still some other things you should consider before you purchase. Take a look around the property for a good building site. Somewhere level is best, but if you don't mind building on a grade, you can do that too. Take into consideration conservation authority regulations, lot line setbacks, and where a good place for an entrance off of the road could be. You're going to need more space than just the footprint of your dwelling. You'll need a parking area, a well, and a septic system. The well and the septic system can't be near each other. Usually they're located at opposite ends of the house. The septic system cannot have the driveway or the parking area on top of it. How far back from the road is the potential building site? The longer the driveway, the more fill it's going to require and the more expensive it's going to be. Are there hydro lines visible on the property? Are they along the road in front of the property? Because you'll have to pay to run hydro from those lines to your house. And if there are no lines visible, where are they? Because you also have to pay to run hydro along the road to your property. And you should check with hydro to make sure that your power can come off of those particular lines. Some lots are older and undersized. That means you need to apply to the township for a minor variance so they can ensure that there's enough space for the house you want to build, the well and the septic with the proper lot line setbacks. If the property is accessed by right of way, unopened road allowance or by water, you may not be able to get a building permit. And if you plan to work from home, you should check with the township that the zoning of that particular property permits the type of business you want to have and if there's any special requirements such as re needing extra parking spaces. If you're planning on doing something agricultural, even having a few horses or chickens, you should check with the township because there's bylaws that regulate lot size and other requirements. So these are just a few things you should consider when you're purchasing vacant land. There could be other issues and concerns. It's a good idea to work with a realtor who's knowledgeable about purchasing vacant land. I'm Don Morden. I'm a realtor with eXp Realty. Have a great day. Bye.